What's up everybody, this is Donovan with Simple Productions at you guys with another little video. So, as you guys saw in the last video, I had that little surprise that was in the bed of the truck. So today is the big reveal of what that surprise is that was in the bed of the truck. And this one I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already guessed what it is. And uh, a lot of you guys are probably are right. So, let's get to it. So this is the biggest surprise. Look at there. 24 inch Alco wheels with practically brand new tires. Um, I believe the back tires are different from the front. So other than that, it's pretty cool, uh, which is not a big of a deal. Um, they're 3305, so essentially at 33. So my biggest worry right now is if they will fit on the truck without rubbing. Um, more likely it's on rub. So these are the adapters for the for the, be able to fit these wheels on the truck. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna take this to the machine shop and get this circle center hole right here. Um, I guess CNC'd out to make it bigger, so that way they fit the four hub. Um, because Chevy, Ford, and Dodge, or Chevy, actually, let me say this first. Chevy and Dodge share the same lug pattern, which is eight by six and a half. Well, the 90s Fords also share the same lug pattern as the Chevy and Dodge, eight by six and a half, but the hub size is bigger. So with that being said, I had to get these, I'm gonna have to get these uh, milled out in the middle there, the adapters on the hub on this Ford. So we're gonna do that real quick and uh, come back and get this thing installed. So, just picked up the wheel adapters. As you can see, I'm gonna get this center bore hole right here uh, for the hub. I had to get that uh, milled out. And um, so, they just did that. This is the first one they just did. And this is obviously the first one. First front one, the first one. This is obviously the front ones because it has a small lip right there. So, the small lip is go for the front, and then they have a the bigger lip that goes to the rear since two wheels are sitting on the lip. So these are hub centric, safer wheels, uh, wheel adapters, and uh, that way it keeps the wheels centered and uh, rides good. So on to the uh, just next. Got route. back, just got these taken care of as you guys just saw when we picked them up, and uh, so now they fit on the hub perfectly on the truck. And now we just gotta get the jack out, and we're gonna put the front ones on first. Turn the wheels, see if it rubs real bad. If it's something we can deal with uh, for the time being, probably just gonna put like a two inch half to two inch level kit on this since the two wheel drive they really don't make a lift kit for this truck's uh, dualies with the two wheel drive um do the front take the front side real quick figure out make sure the tires are pointing the right direction with all the other tires and uh take the jack out and lift the front up real quick and install them so let's get to it so we got the truck in the carport now as you can see back here as well that the body and the bed is flexing away from each other and the reason why it's looking like that is because i did just put on the front driver's side wheel on. Um, the center cap is not put on. I think I put it on wrong. Uh, I believe I have to put the adapter on and then put the uh, center cap through behind the wheel and stick out and then put the wheel on it. It's, it's kind of a weird setup, but I'm gonna have to take that wheel off. But right now I'm just doing fitment. So I'm gonna start on this side and put the center cap on there so I don't have to take it off again. Um, I did just move the truck and it does rub. Um, I'm not sure how exactly bad and where. I'm gonna have to have somebody stand out here. Probably have a trim up right here in the bumper, maybe in the back. Since I'm gonna have to get, since I'm gonna get a new bumper anyways, um, I'll take that, uh, the grinder to that and sand that or whatever grind that piece of corner down there off. So that way I won't cut to the tire. Because uh, these tires on these wheels are great. So we're going to start on this side and uh, let's jack this up and take this wheel off. So just got done with the, the fronts and I got my little work bitch working on the back ones right now. Damn it, he heard me. All right, he's off the job. Anyways, I don't need him anyways. He's fired. But anyways. Oh, you don't need my impact gun? Okay, I'm going to take uh, No, no, no. I need your impact gun. Uh, oh, no, no. But you mean you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so we got the front ones done. I was kind of doing it 
cheaply at first and he convinced me to do it right i was just gonna put the regular lug nuts back on and the adapters are actually made to have the cones um, lug nuts on so he convinced me we'll go over the get some cones we went to autozone first of course they didn't have none so. First, they have safety pins uh, that come out from the hub. I guess oh, I guess that'd be considered the hub. Um, comes out, which there's the little safety pin. And what that goes, it goes through this hole. Yeah, in the trash. It goes in the trash can. But it goes to this hole right here um, to kind of help keep the wheel centered and arm. I guess it's something Ford does. You know, it just makes things a little more difficult here. So we took the drum, I don't know what exactly you call that, drum casing, drum cover, I don't know. Basically it's the rotor. Um, the rotor, Itch. and grind that down, and we just gotta make sure that is flush. You don't have to cut it completely off, but you want it flush with the drum there. Don't try this at home. A drum rotor, so. Yeah. So now, as you can see, it is flush with the rotor. Now we can actually put the wheel adapter on there and they'll sit flush um, against the hub. Um, the, they'll sit flush. Yeah. Now we got the safety pin taken out, got the adapter on, bolted down with the proper uh, cone lug nuts, putting the inside wheel on it now. You gotta make sure it's completely flush. You gotta kind of play with it top to bottom, make sure it's in all the way. And then we'll put the outer wheel on. And once you put the lug nuts on, everything kind of come, goes to into play with each other. And uh, yeah, so we'll just get the outside. next one. Are you gonna film me now? Fuck you. Uh, Fuck you. All right, so. You didn't actually yeah. work today. You didn't do anything today. I, I did. fucking worked today. Not at all. You didn't I do spent, a damn thing. I think I spent like seven hours doing one, or actually the two front ones. Did that one completely wrong. End up putting the rear, rear adapter, so and the front, the and then I put one front one on. That's why you called me. Yeah, and then uh, you know I called him just for his tools. But anyways, uh, <laughs> but I was having some kind of wiggling going on on that side and I think that was because of the I put the rear adapter in the front it had a lot of spacing still and the lug nut can only go so far but the spacer was making it where it only goes so much too so it just kind of fucked up the whole thing they do stick out a little bit just the rear is good front's about front's like flush they're looking good Basis concentration. Put the outside wheel on the first time. I forgot that I told I forgot to tell him that that little piece there has to go on before you put the lug nuts on. So uh so uh I totally just got that. On film. What the fuck? Oh, this is my red next die. <laughs> right. This is what the truck looks like. You're welcome. Thanks. I think it looks freaking awesome. I mean, it's a little, you know, not exactly the 100% style that I was going for with like rubber band tires on it, but. But you gotta do what you gotta do for a little bit. Once I lift the front end of the truck, or the whole truck, you know, whenever I do that, then I can actually put some, you know, 35 mud tires on there to make it look a little more towards the direction that I want to go with the truck. This is too, I don't know. I mean, it looks good to me, but it's not exactly where I want it. But I had someone that wants to buy these tires. They're pretty much practically sold already. Um, so I want to hurry up and put them off 
put these ones on there and it looks good I mean, don't get me wrong at all I, I love the way it turns out it looks a lot better it's not doesn't look so stock looking no more and it's just going towards that more direction that I'm going with you know once I put the meat the, you know the mud tires on there it'll look you know a little more to the direction that I actually want what I have the image in my head of what the truck will look like but you know we're getting there little little by little as I always say uh, got the center caps and the caps for the lug nuts. I'm probably gonna go get all new um, center caps. This one right here, uh, I think I try. You know, I end up punching it too many times. I end up getting fucked. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, we got. But put the uh, at least the caps around the lug nuts. But I'm gonna get spikes. This side, I was able to get the cap on there. There's a little bit, a couple of dents. As you can see on the center cap it's not that big of a deal this is also look a lot better once i polish up the wheels i was trying to go polish them up before i put them on the truck but like i was saying i got the guy really wants the tires already um he's ready to buy them maybe coming tonight who knows uh so i want her to get them off for him but i can still polish the outsides i can get into the insides here um but not too bad i'll at least polish them you know little by little I'll take one, take the one side, the rears off, polish the rears, put them back on there maybe. Um, this one I got the center cap as well on. It's all coming together. Got the, you know, the window tint, the clear cab lights. Uh, we got the wheels. So it's all, it's all coming together. I'm happy. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks good. Clean. It's not super, really, like, you know, overdone. Like my other truck was with all the digital camo and all the other crap and different lights, different shades of color everywhere. This is, you know, going towards the, you know, kind of classy look to it. It's not so much, so much chrome and polished look to it. Once I take the bumpers off, get that, uh, you know, color matched, it look a lot better. The grill, get those little insert pieces will be all color matched, all clear headlights. So it's all coming together. You know, it started to look good. And, more to the, towards the direction I'm going with the truck so hopefully you guys enjoy this video be sure to stay tuned because I got even more stuff that came in today um, and I'll start that with another video still got the hurricane that's gonna be coming at some point um, since I am here at Daytona Beach Florida well near Daytona Beach Florida so um, so yeah stay tuned No, we're just gonna get the outskirts of it, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just pretty much just a normal storm for us. Couple but days off work, yeah. yeah, yeah, a couple days off of work. The only thing that means Thursday. that's less money I'm making, which means less money. You know what I mean? You know, it's not much content for you guys. I get paid days off, so that. I don't get paid days off. You know, it's the struggle. Business owner problems. Business owner for sure. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure you stay tuned because I got a lot more stuff. Like I just said, I got more stuff that came in the mail today for the truck. And stuff that's actually going to make a pretty good difference on the truck. Um, one hint, it will start matching the clear cab lights. That's the only hint. So is it going to be the headlights? Is my going to black those out? Am I getting new clears? Even though they really don't, not many people make those. I'm still trying to find clear uh, side markers. Comment down below what you guys think the next uh, modification for this truck will be, and I'll see you guys later. Later.